Hello and welcome back. Now we're going to be installing our transmission adapter plate to the OM617. In today's example we're installing a W56 transmission adapter. We've already gone ahead and installed our adapter plate with our six flathead cap screws. The only thing that you need to make sure is there's nothing on the back of the engine block and then you put the adapter plate on. Then we installed our pilot bearing and flywheel centering device. To do that um, sometimes you might have a really tight fit so what we had to do was throw our steel adapter into the freezer. We left it there overnight and we heated our crankshaft up with a little map gas torch and it honestly almost slid right in and now we got a nice tight fit so we can be assured that that's going to center our flywheel correctly. So the next thing we're going to do is install our flywheel. And so here's a flywheel which if you got one from me this would come drilled with the Mercedes pattern already in it. I'm just going to put one bolt on there to hold the flywheel on while I get the rest um, prepped, prepped for assembly. These are the ARP custom fasteners that I supply. The appropriate method for installing these is to apply a medium thread locking compound such as blue loctite or here I have Permatex medium strength thread locker blue. And so we're going to apply that and then we got to make sure that we get this thing done within, oh, let's see, about 15 minutes. Um, otherwise you compromise the the characteristic of the locking compound. It might already be setting up and then you could break it free. So now that I got another fastener, I'll back that first one out. Usually with Loctite, you can't have too much, but you can definitely have not enough. So we're going to install all 12 of these with Loctite applied. For a fastener this size, I'd apply about two to three drops per, per bolt. Keep in mind that only the bottom portion of the bolt is threading into the crankshaft so you really don't need to apply any Loctite to the upper threads on the body of the bolt that will just be wasted and it won't do anything now that we have our Loctite applied and all the fasteners started the next step is to get everything finger tight and since time is of the essence since our Loctite is curing I'm going to use an impact driver just to snug everything up just to finger tight The next step is to mark all of the fasteners with our torque sequence so that we don't get lost. So I pulled up a torque sequence on my phone. I'm just going to use that here to go ahead and mark all these out quick. Now I have all 12 bolts marked in the pattern that they need to be tightened in and the next step is to start torquing them. So we will torque them to 60 foot-pounds 
And we will do that by going around and um, we will start out with torquing them to 40 foot-pounds, then we'll go to 60 foot-pounds, we'll go around and torque them once more, and then we'll go around a third time and torque them to 60 foot-pounds for the final time. That will ensure a nice even torque all the way around. So I'm going to set my motor down and block the flywheel from spinning and go around and start torquing these. So one thing I've gone ahead and done was took a breaker bar with a 27 millimeter socket and applied that to the crankshaft bolt up front. And that bottoms out into the ground and now as I'm torquing these if the motor wants to spin it's just going to be tightening that crankshaft bolt. So for the ARP fasteners, the technical correct socket to be using is a 12.58 socket. So now we've gone and torqued everything to 40 foot-pounds. So now we're going to go around for the second time, torque everything to 60, 60 foot-pounds. Now we've gone through the second time and torqued everything to 60 foot-pounds, 60 foot-pounds. Now we're going to go through a third and final time, torquing everything again to 60 foot-pounds. Now the difference here is that with the Mercedes torqued yield bolts, they'll give you an angle of rotation such as 90 degrees that you would go ahead and rotate these two. These are not uh, torqued yield bolts, so we'll not be going to 90 degrees, we'll simply just be going around one more time to 60 foot-pounds to ensure everything is nice and evenly fastened. You also want to make sure that you stop torquing as soon as you hear your torque wrench click because it is possible to keep going and apply more torque which will make you have an uneven torque pattern. Alright, everything should be torqued to 60 foot-pounds now. So, next thing we're going to do is install our clutch. I'm a little disappointed in this Asian clutch because there's no indication of which side is supposed to go towards the flywheel and which to the transmission. But in referencing our previous clutch, the side with less stick out goes towards the flywheel and the side where you can see all of the springs and everything goes towards the transmission. Um, so shame on Asian for not pointing that one out, but we will get that installed on the flywheel and then we've cleaned our pressure plate just clean the mating surface get any uh, potential oil off of there and now we're going to slide this over the friction disc and onto the flywheel and the next step is to take again some blue Loctite and our fasteners and I believe they recommend you actually replace these fasteners whenever you're uh, replacing a clutch so you can go to Toyota and get these fasteners with the implemented washer on there and I think it'll run you around five bucks or so it's not too bad we'll just go ahead Apply Loctite to these bolts, get them installed. I 
I still have the cheater bar on the front of the motor so that when we start torquing these the motor won't spin over on us. And there should be six fasteners total. Now the next step, again, shame on Asian, but they supplied the wrong diagram for the clutch torque sequence pattern. So as you can see here, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, but everyone knows that on a clutch you gotta tighten it down gradually, incrementally. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then back up to one. You don't ever want to go to the adjacent bolt because that's going to present an uneven torquing pattern. So we're going to set our torque wrench to 14 foot-pounds we're not going to tighten it to 14 foot pounds, but we're going to go incrementally in that pattern I showed you. Just get everything tightened to the same amount at first. Everything is now contacting the flywheel. So we're going to go ahead with our pattern and we're going to go just one revolution at a time. Now, before you start getting things tightened down, you want to make sure your clutch alignment tool is centered in the flywheel and make sure that uh, you can slide that easily through the friction plate and all the way into the pilot bearing. Then you know you have that centered. That there should be no drag on that. It should slide right in and out. So the next thing we're going to do is go around and torque to 14 foot-pounds. Now that we've finished torquing our clutch bolts to the flywheel, we're going to verify that our clutch centering tool will easily slide in and out all the way into the uh, pilot bearing. And um, now the clutch is installed, you can install your bell housing. Um, so, now you're ready to drop your engine into the truck and make the transmission up to it. Now before we install our transmission and engine together once and for all, we're going to come in and look at each hole on the bell housing where our bolts are going to go through and make sure that our bolts will go through from the, the back side of the transmission. Mainly uh, these two are the ones that you will probably have issues with. They are big enough on the front side here for the bolt but not on the back side so you'll need to drill the bell housing out for the um, bolts to fit all the way through because they didn't finish the hole all the way through to the back side um, when they were machining that casting at the factory. And then once you get that done, you get your throwout bearing installed, then we'll be ready to drop the motor in.